jQuery will help you build your dot com. Find an element inside of the DOM. Ajax traversal manipulation, event handling, and animation. Providing you with versatility, an API with extensibility. jQuery is something you can ignore. Write less, do more. I'm Greg Pollock, and you're watching Try jQuery, and this is level two, where we're going to be searching through the DOM using more CSS selectors. So here's the HTML we used in our previous level. And remember, we were able to select the unordered list with the ID of destinations. But how might we select the list items inside of that specific unordered list? We can do that using the descendant selector. So here is our DOM again. And we can simply write pound destinations space li to select all the list items underneath the element with the destinations ID. So here, the parent is destinations, and the descendant is the li. Let's make our HTML a little bit more complex. As you can see here, now we have an unordered list inside of our unordered list. And we want to find only the li elements that are children of the destination's UL. Just the children, not the children's children. To solve this, would we use the descendant selector? Well, let's see what happens if we do. If we use pound destination space li like before, it selects all of the list items underneath that UL, which is not what we want. In order to find only the direct children, we need to use the child selector. Let's see what that looks like. To select the direct descendants, we specify pound destinations, then we use the greater than sign, and then li. You'll see in the DOM that that Paris list item does not get selected because we're only going after the direct descendants. Pound destinations is the parent here, the child here is li, and that greater than sign is what tells jQuery that we're looking for the direct descendant. Now what if we want to select multiple elements? Let's say we want to select elements with either a promo class or a France ID. To do that, we can simply list dot promo comma pound France. Using a comma like this allows us to select multiple items. Now what if we only wanted to select the first item in that unordered list? We can do that using the pseudo selector. In this case, pound destinations li colon first. This will select the first item in the list. As you might imagine, to select the last item in the list, we simply use li colon last. If we wanted to select every other list item, we might want to use the odd pseudo class. So in this case, it would only select the middle list item. This might not seem intuitive at first, but you have to understand that the index for these list items starts at zero, like so. So that's why the odd only selects the middle item. If we used even, it would select zero, two, four, six, and so on. Time for you to use some of these selectors in the challenges.